I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God put this message on my heart. Whoever you are that clicked on this video, I promise you that this video is going to help you all. I challenge you to stay until the end of this video because I want you to get everything I'm about to share with you. You see, when it comes to following Jesus, we have to know our position. See, your position is in the back seat. You understand? Jesus says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. To follow means to get behind. Too often in life, what we want to do. You know, we get caught up in our own selfish desires, our own pride, our own paths. Right? Leaning on our own understanding. When in Proverbs, it tells us lean not to your own understanding. Right? What we want to do? We want to take the wheel. You know what I'm saying? We want to tell God we're going left, we're going right. We want to do, we want to try to put God in the back seat. But Jesus wants you to get behind him. Because see, look, let me tell you something. If you really trust him, if you really, I'm talking about if you really trust him, you'll be willing to get in the back seat. All right. Anytime you're in a car with an experienced driver that you trust, what's the first thing you're going to do? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. you're not going to stay up and, and, and talk if it's a long road trip. You going to sleep. Why is that? See, you're confident in the driver. But let me be real with you. If you're in the car with somebody and, and, and the, the dude or the gal, whoever, don't know how to drive, what you doing? You, you up, you alert. You know what I'm saying? Your seat scoot all the way up. Anytime they're driving, you you put, watch out for them. Watch out. Oh, look, look, look. Hold up. They got a cat running across the world. T turn your lights on. What? Man, you don't trust them. So you ain't about to take no nap. You ain't about to go to sleep. See, in the Bible, listen to me. There was a, because it could be a storm going on. What Jesus do? Jesus sleep in the boat. You understand? Je Jesus sleep in the boat. Why is that? He's not stressing because, see, he has all power. You understand me? So if Jesus not stressing, why should you be stressing? The only reason you will be stressing, it not, not stretching. Well, you need to stretch too. You ain't stretched your legs in about 10 years. But the only reason you will be stre uh, not stretching, stressing. I can't pronounce that word for anything. Stressing. <laughs> the only reason you will, <laughs> the only reason you will be stressing is if you in the driver's seat. Because I'm going to be real with you. When you're in that driver's seat by yourself, when you're not following God, a lot of stress comes with that. Because, see, you're forced to make big decisions, right? And you only have a little view of God. When in reality, if you got in the back seat and you understood your assignment was to follow him, you understand? Everything will be, man, listen, he says casting all your cares on me because I care for you, giving him all your burdens. That means you don't want these responsibilities. You just want these responsibilities back here that are light, that you are built to carry. See, your shoulders are in the natural or only built to carry so much. You may say, man, I'm strong. I work out 10 times a week. Okay, that's cool. See that backpack right here? All right, let, let me put a 50 pound dumbbell in it. Put the backpack on. You may, you, you may put it on and you may walk a mile and come back and only sweating a little bit and say, ah, oh, that wasn't nothing. Okay, cool. Let me put another 50 in there. You may walk another mile and come back sweating again. You may say, hey, that wasn't that bad. All right. <laughs> All right, come here. Come here. Let, let me put two more 50s in there. I do that. And the first thing you're going to say is, man, look, I can't, I can't carry it. I can't carry this. Understand this, what I'm telling you. You're not built to carry that load. You're built to walk light and be a vessel for him. You understand? And see, you got to have your perspective right when it comes to following Jesus. Don't sit back here and be like, oh, what about me? When am I going to get attention? What am I? See, hey, I'm trying to help you out. I promise you I am. Many people, they scared to get in the back seat because they want to be in the windshield when, when people drive by to get all the, the, uh, the credit and the glory for something. When it's Jesus that's running this show. Somebody get an accomplishment or get that and get that. The last thing they want to mention is, is Jesus. They want to say, me, I'm self-made. I, I built this from the ground up. I, I, I got it out the mud. Ain't nobody give me no handout. Nobody want to do this. They quick to throw all that and it's all rooted in pride. The Bible says, humble. I'm sorry, I'm bumbling over my word. The Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he shall exalt you in due time. Man, I'm trying to help somebody out. And listen, hey, I'm I, I not, not only am I helping you out, I'm helping myself out. You understand? Because what God give me, it encouraged me so much. So I say, man, I, I got to talk to somebody about this. See, whatever, listen, whatever you magnify, 
becomes bigger. I, man, oh, I wish. Look, when I went to the dollar store to get this pack of Snickers a few minutes, I wish I would have bought that magnifying glass. I, that's the one thing I forgot on my list. I would have had one for you. But I'm going to just use my daughter's uh, top bottle. Bottle top, whatever it is. This is a magnifying glass, all right? See, when, when, you, when, you, when you magnify God, guess what? Your problems get small because you choose to magnify God. You choose to, to see him for who he really is. But when you put all your attention on your problems, your problems look huge and God seems small. You're like, how can God, how, how can God even do this? Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I believe. I don't know if I believe. But if you spend time keeping that magnifying glass on him, man, you won't worry about this. Because see, listen, God knows how to handle your situation. Trust me when I tell you he knows how to make the crooked thing straight. God can open doors that no man can shut. Right, he can shut doors that no man can open. You understand? See, man, you gotta get in the back seat. You gotta, you gotta give God a chance at this thing. You've been running the show yourself for how long? And where has that gotten you? And and what do we do? You know what I'm saying? We we feel empty, void, powerless, burned down. Today is the day to get in the back seat. I'm not sure who this message is for, but I just want you to know that Jesus loves you. And, 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 and be confident in the fact that he knows what he was doing. See, he was working miracles way before you were born. Back in 1988, 82, 1970, 1960, all that. See, you don't even know what was going on in them days. Why is that? You wasn't even born yet. He, he, he's the alpha, the omega, the beginning, the end. You understand? He knows what's going on. The Bible says nothing, nothing is new under the sun. In other words, God, God is not biting his fingernails, worried about your situation. You are. But today is the day you choose to get in the back seat and say, okay, <laughs> okay, Lord, I submit all this to you and I love you and I trust that you are working it out in Jesus name. Amen. And then go ahead. Look, go ahead. Get back in that, in that back seat. Now the back seat might be kind of small. Now a brother knees hitting, hitting all the back of the thing, but Hey, it's all, I'm not, I'm not going to complain back here though, because of who my driver is. See, it ain't about me and my kneecap. I might have a little bruise on it tomorrow, but I'm good though. I'm going to keep my mouth shut because it could be worse. It was worse when I was trying to drive this thing. Yeah, I had a lot of space. Yeah, I was leaning back or whatever, but that wasn't working. So I'm going to jam my knees up back here and I'm going to praise the Lord. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, I need you to comment the word. I choose, <laughs> I choose to get in the back seat. Once again, if you made it to the end of this video, I need you to comment the words, I choose to get in the back seat. That lets me know you're a real one and you made it to the end of this video. I love you so much. Hit the like button if you appreciate these videos. Subscribe to the channel. New videos every single day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the very next video.